Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to talk about solo mining and start a solo mining experiment. So before we jump into that, let's just do some foundational knowledge here about what proof of work is, and that will feed into why solo mining is something I want to try. So with proof of work, right, it's your graphics cards, GPUs presented with a math problem on whatever network you're mining. That network presents you with that math problem and whatever graphics card is the first one to solve that math problem gets paid the reward from that network. So for Ethereum, if you're mining on the Ethereum network and your rig is the first rig to solve the math problem is presented with before anybody else, you're gonna get the block reward to Ethereum plus whatever fees as well. And so let's take an example then of a new network. Let's just say a brand new cryptocurrency network came out and it's me and you, right? And we're mining on that network and I have one RTX 3070 and you have the same exact identical RTX 3070 with the same hash rate. And it's just me and you mining on that network. And we're going to be presented with math problems from this network. And over time, we're going to solve the same amount each. In a month, let's say I solve 50% of those math problems and you solve the other 50% of those math problems. Just statistically, that's how it's going to work out. But now let's say a lot of people found out about our network and our cryptocurrency. And they're joining in, right? And somebody just brought in thousands of GPUs to mine. And me, by myself, and you, by yourself, we just can't compete. And that person with thousands of GPUs is winning all of the blocks. They're solving all the math problems for us just because they have more of a chance to because they have more graphics cards that do more hash, hash power. And so then we go, well, how are we going to do this? We got to stay viable here. So then we decide to band together. And then we have some more friends we get in, right? And we got my GPU your GPU and all our friends GPUs coming in. And we say, well, if we get together, we have way better chance of winning block rewards over everybody else that's on this network. And what we'll do is when we win one, we'll just split it proportionally depending on the, depending on the amount of work that we've put in. And that's a pool. You just formed a pool. And that's what we do. That's what we do on all of these cryptocurrency networks is you band together with everybody else that's mining so you have a better chance of, of solving the block more often so you can get the reward and you just split it amongst everybody that's mining on that pool. And why would you want to do that? Well, one, for exactly that reason, so you have a better chance. And two is you have a more reliable payout, right? You're winning more blocks than you would by yourself or with a smaller set of people. And so you, there's this reliability that comes with it where you're getting consistent income in using a pool. But solo mining is still possible. You still could go up against everybody else because statistically it would work out at some point where you would win a block. Just mathematically it has to, but it could take a long time depending on the network. I mean, you could be looking at years and years and years and years for you to win a block reward. And then you're not getting your consistent payouts. And then it just comes into, does it really make sense to do that? Well, when you're looking at a network like Ethereum with the amount of hash rate that's on it, the amount of GPUs that are on that, you, even with your six card rig at home, it doesn't make sense, in my opinion, to solo mine on it. Because who are you versus everybody else? It could take you a lifetime to finally hit a block. But there are other networks out there. And that's where we're going to talk about this rest of this video. So when you look here, I'm on this website. It's called 2CryptoCalc. This really is what sparked this whole video. This was shown to me by somebody in my Discord community. And I just put in here my 16 series graphics card. So I put 14 1660 Ti's and two 1660 Supers. And this looks really familiar to what's in mine, right? As I go down, it's going to tell me that I... I'm going to make $42 or whatever per day in profit with those cards mining Ethereum. If I click on Ethereum, it has all the information about what I would be making. But if I scroll down from there, it has some solo mining information. 
and you can look here, what it's doing is saying, based on the GPUs that you put in, here are the blocks that you would be able to find if you solo mined in this time period. And because the Ethereum network is so gigantic and there's so much hash rate on it, the reality is with just those GPUs in the next 30 days, I wouldn't hit a block. At some point I would, whether it's a year, two years, five years, 10 years, but in the next 30 days, I won't hit a block. So I was like, all right, let's see what other cryptocurrencies we got in proof of work. And I clicked on Ravencoin. Same thing, I scroll on down. I said, oh, well, this is looking better. In 30 days, I should hit a block. 5,000 Ravencoin, little over $600. Okay, what else do we have? Came down to Fira, which is the next most profitable cryptocurrency to mine on these GPUs. And I came down, I looked and I said, oh wait, this looks pretty good. Actually, every day, statistically, I should win a block. That feels like a pretty consistent payout. 6.25 Firo every day, every week, four blocks, and in 30 days, 18 blocks. So I said, well, maybe, maybe there's something here. Maybe I should have some fun and do some solo mining. Let's talk about Firo, like, and why Firo is the one I chose, and maybe just didn't go further down this list. So there's a couple of reasons. I'm a fan of Firo. It used to be known as Zcoin. They love GPU miners. They've actually forked their algorithm away from ASICs in the past. They're currently on the MTP algorithm, which stands for Merkle Tree Proof, which is very GPU friendly. And they're actually about to fork their algorithm again to FiroPow, which may sound familiar because it's based on ProgPow, the same algorithm that Ravencoin has based its KaPow off of. So again, they're really targeting GPUs here. They love GPU miners, which is exactly what we need thinking about Ethereum eventually doing the merge and turning off proof of work. The other reason is that Firo has master nodes. If you're not familiar with master nodes, what it is, at least in Firo's case, is once you have a thousand Firo, you can run a node. And the reason you would run a node is to support their network. And each network has different reasons, uh, what the node can do, what kind of work the node can do. But they all have in common is, is that you will get paid for running a node on their network. And in this case, you'll get paid in a month 76 US dollars if you run a node. And that's passive income, right? That's that's what we do here. We generate passive income with our mining rigs. And if you can mine a thousand Firo and then put that aside and run a node with it, you can then put that to work and gain additional income as of making this video be in this $76 a month. And I already have some Firo, but I need some more to get to that master node status. So that's a reason that I also really would like to mine this. So how do you use solo mine? That is the question. And if you look at the traditional way where you don't involve a pool or a third party at all, Firo actually on their website has some information on how to do that. And if you scroll down here, it has some info for solo mining. So what you need to do is you need to have the Firo wallet installed on your computer and you need to make sure it's synced with their network. And now instead of what you would traditionally do, which is put in a pools address into your mining software, you're gonna put in the address from your Fira wallet essentially. And what will happen here is instead of your GPU showing up in a pool for you to monitor progress, in the miner, you will just be mining to the Firo network. And eventually you would see in your Firo wallet, 6.25 as income, as a deposit. And that lets you know that you won that block reward as a solo miner. The other way you can solo mine Firo is actually using a website that would traditionally be used as a pool. And we're gonna talk about two miners here. So for two miners, you can go and you can go to their solo section and choose Firo. Why would you wanna do this and what are the downsides? So maybe you don't wanna run the Firo wallet. Maybe you don't wanna run the, the full node. It's taking up space in your computer. It's gotta be online all the time. You can't do that. Well, guess what? Two miners here will just provide that service for you. You can use their server to solo mine. You're not pooled with anybody else, it's just you, but because they're providing you that service, you're now gonna pay a fee where you wouldn't before if you did this using the wallet version. And the fee for doing that is 1.25%. 
So you can use their server, their service, but instead of getting that full 6.25 block reward, it's gonna be 6.25 minus 1.5% that they charge for providing this service to you. So that in its nutshell is solo mining and that is Firo and solo mining. The variable that we haven't talked about that you may consider having some fun in doing this like I'm about to is luck. So let's define this a little bit. And this really comes into play with solo mining. So let's just say you are 100% luck. What would that mean? 100% luck would mean that you do exactly this. Every day you get one block of Firo and every week you get four blocks of Firo. It just pans out exactly like on the screen here. That would be 100% luck. Statistically, you are getting exactly what you're supposed to be getting. But maybe in that week, you have 150% luck, which means you've done 50% more than statistically you were supposed to because that's just how that works. this works out. Over a long enough time scale, you should end in with 100% luck, maybe a year, but maybe you had a couple really lucky weeks where your GPUs just solved the math problem faster than anybody else and you got more reward really fast. There is a downside. You could go under 100% luck. You could go to like 50% luck, which means you only got half. Statistically, you should have gotten more, but in that week, you only solved half the math problems fast enough, which means you got half the reward than you were statistically supposed to. And that's kind of like the variable in all this and the fun and the gamble in all of this. Like I said, like over a long enough period of time, it shouldn't matter. But over short periods of time, maybe you got really lucky for a week and you hit, instead of four blocks, you hit eight. You just doubled your revenue. And then you shift on to something else. But again, there is that downside where maybe you did half. You only hit two blocks and it's kind of a waste. And that's the, that's like the fun with solo mining and the thing that I'm going to monitor, uh, over time as I start to solo mine Firo with these GPUs that I've selected. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the mining software set up. We'll get it mining and then we'll check out its progress on two miners. So we're solo mining. I moved two rigs over. One of them has eight 1660 TIs and another has six 1660 TIs plus to 1660 supers and together on the pool side I've only been mining just a little bit but that's reading about 32 mega hash coming in to the solo pool so I'm up on two miners that's what you see on your screen here and that's it it's going it's we're going to monitor how it does over time you can see the block reward that I'm expecting being paid out and again just going back to what I should be getting is I should within 24 hours see myself hit a block reward in there and then within a week i should hit four blocks mining solo on two miners and what i'm really going to be paying attention to is my personal luck which is that stat that i was talking about before just to see how i'm doing am i coming up really unlucky am i coming up really lucky that's what we're going to look to see but that's solo mining uh, the pros of it, the cons of it, what it is, why you might want to do it. Listen, it's not for everybody. Overall, I probably would not recommend it, especially if you need those consistent payouts, maybe pay off your rigs or electricity or anything like that. Ultimately, wouldn't recommend it, but for some fun, for some YouTube content, just to spice things up a little bit for myself, I figured, what the hell, let's give it a try. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. Link is in the description below. And as always, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I'll see you in the next video.